just all around good guy. I mean, absolutely wonderful man. A murder mystery shattering the peace of a local community tonight. A 72 year old man found dead inside his home. It really hasn't sunk in that he's not there. The victim, adored by his neighbors, bled to death. His home ransacked, but why? I am in utter disbelief, frankly, because I can't imagine anybody having a problem with a gene. Now at six, an intense hunt to catch a killer before he or she strikes again. And we heard that sentiment over and over. Friends of 72-year-old Gene Elliott tell us he's the nicest guy you'd ever meet. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Jessica Moore. Police found Elliott's bloody body inside his house yesterday. Officers say the 72-year-old's death is still a mystery. It's our top story tonight at 6. This week's Antonio Castellan joins us live outside the victim's home. So, Antonio, first question a lot of people have when something like this happens. Do we know if this was just a random attack? Uh, Jim, police are keeping very quiet on this murder case. Officers are not saying if the victim was targeted or if this was random, but police are now saying that the murder victim was shot. Neighbors all around here know the murder victim as Gene Elliott. He was a real estate agent. And just to give you an example on how nice this man was, he was selling this house for a customer. When it didn't sell, he decided, he decided to buy it. He lived here. Unfortunately, this is where he was found murdered. It's day two of a murder investigation, and Metro Police detectives are back again at the scene of the crime. Mystery surrounds this house where close friends say 72-year-old Gene Elliott lived. It just blows me away. Patricia Herberger called Elliott a neighbor for 20 years. Yesterday, police say a maintenance man noticed Elliott dead inside his house. Detectives say it looks as the 72-year-old left a blood trail to another home as he looked for help. Obviously, he was trying to get help. I wish she could have come over here. The coroner's office and police still have not released Elliot's cause of death. Herberger says her gentle neighbor had no enemies. Jean didn't have anything valuable in his house. Um, she's no point. I don't know what happened. I wish I would have heard something. Elliot was a Las Vegas real estate agent for 40 years. Jack Woodcock was Elliot's manager for several years at one time. I am in utter disbelief, frankly, because. I can't imagine anybody having a problem with a gene. Detectives say Elliot's home was ransacked and brand new Cadillac was stolen. Woodcock and Herberger hope the person responsible is caught soon. I know our profession is going to miss him. Uh, his, anybody he's ever worked with is going to miss him. He will be missed, beyond missed. I don't even think we fully, it really hasn't sunk in that he's not there. Metro Police, they are looking for a 2013 silver Cadillac. This is the car. It's a similar car that the murder victim used to own. There are two different types of plates that could be on that car. One plate is from Nevada. It reads USZ990. The other plate is from Arizona. It reads AR4204. If anyone sees this car, you are asked to call Metro Police at 702-385. 5555. Right now, police say they have no suspects. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News.